and welcome to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. So Monster Hunter Generations is coming out, depending on when this video goes out, uh, today. That's going to be the plan for when this video comes out. But I wanted to showcase and share really my favorite Monster Hunter, Hunter game. This is the one I have the probably the most hours in, as you can see at 453. Oi. Monster Hunter's taken many, many hours of my life just with this one game. I originally started with Try, and Monster Hunter Ultimate is just better Monster Hunter Try. So <laughs> yeah, it has more game more everything so I have played the hell out of this I'm HR 100 and I forgot I got that far um, but this game has something that no other game has at least none of the recent games have which is my favorite monsters or rather monster in because his other forms less of a favorite but I am currently wearing one of my favorite sets which also coincides with one of my favorites as well which is, hasn't been in any other game since which is the Rogi set I'll showcase some of what I have because I have a lot let's show off some of my sets so this is my Geeky Knock set this is also to predicate this is G rank so I have uh, something that wasn't included in world is there's the low rank the high rank and then the g rank though i think g rank got done with the tempered stuff but not quite the same i don't think i don't know i i got bored with world just because of the lack of monsters maybe when it does an ultimate edition of its own and includes even more than just all the DLC stuff, then I'll get interested again. Um, but this is my Gigi Nuts. I have that was my Rogi. This is Azure Razalus, which I think is basically the same. Um, this is, is this, did I even finish the set? I don't think I did. I no, I didn't finish the set. Because that's regular Nargakuga. Yeah. Yeah, there are so many <laughs> things that I'm remembering of sets. I love this one. The. Uh, how do I even pronounce it? Sinogre, but it's the Sinog. I love the Dover set of this generation. I hate the way it looks in the current Monster Hunter world. I it's so stupid. And this one is pretty bad. I know. I like the stats of it way more. The invasion, tremor, part breaker is a great thing to have. Um this is my Joe. Though I actually started using I don't know why, but I preferred to have the Gen Moron bandana with it. I have my Rogi. I have another set of, this is my second set of Rogi just because this one has my negate poison on it and a couple other things. This one has auto tracker on it because it's helpful for some things. And Hallowed Gen Moron set. Gen Morgan is another one of my favorites, though I don't think I'll show them off in this video. Maybe if I do another one. And this is my high rank Gigi set. This is the set that I originally fell in love with when I originally played, because Try didn't have uh, the G rank originally. And regular Gen set. I adore this game, as you can tell. So, oh yeah, I have my gunner sets because this is a thing before world you had to make armor based on whether you were a blade or a gunner user so this 
was the type of thing where they would look they would similar pattern but they would look different different and you could only use gunner sets with gunner equipment and blade sets with blade equipment um, gunner armor also was much lower in stats it became a huge and mostly because they were supposed to stick to the back and shoot from afar but at the same time it's like monster aggro's to whoever it feels like aggroing to so <laughs> good luck having the gunner not get hit and so they had to be very vigilant of not getting hit and which is why I didn't do it that often this is probably one of the few ones I did do it before doing world and even then didn't do it a whole lot mostly I found a couple sets that I liked with it and oh good lord there were so many one of the main sets actually that was amazing for this particular or generation and doing a gunner was this Giginox set specifically Giginox set with the great Kelby deer, deer shot I've seen so anytime I was hunting both with friends and with randoms it just so much because the great deer Kelby shot has a slime element that I believe you need the awakens you can status for because otherwise it's not active then for whatever reason, slime is also counted under the status attack up. So, status attack plus awaken, load up, and it's just, it worked incredibly well. And I saw so, there were so many people that used it. But, I will not be using it right now. Um, like I said, I wanted to show off a particular monster. And, I'm going to use the rugs to do it because they use poison. And I'm going to change out my weapon. And as you can see, I also have many, many more weapons. A bunch of bows. And this was before the charge blade was introduced. And the charge blade became my new favorite weapon. But before then, it was this lovely little switch axe. So, uh, Azure Rose is good. But not so much for what I'm going to be dealing with. Technically, this would probably be the best, and this is oh no, manage equipment. View. Hmm. Consistent. Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Yes. Uh. Ah, I should have figured out which weapon I was going to pick for this. Where was the other one I had? Oh yeah, this one I was, had it earlier. Which doesn't have any elemental damage, but has crazy affinity, which means more critical hits. So, I'll go ahead and take this one. Oh, also, for anyone who hasn't seen this generation, which I'm assuming most people haven't, just because World opened up a huge chunk of gamers to this franchise series genre game, this is Cha Cha, which I need to change your mask. I have not been dealing with you at all. Chao Chao and Kayamba were story based. Ancient, Mask, Affinity Boost, Dragon Attack. Those aren't going to help you. Seven Lives, Speed Recovery. What's on this one? Poison Attack, Ailment. You have like nothing good. It's only level 1 for mastery, but it's horrible. <laughs> Oi. Okay. Let's give you your traditional acorn mask. 
And let's use you with your traditional mask, which I believe give me all the crap you gathered. Is this one? No, it is not. Damn it. Where is your mask, Kayamba? I know that wasn't it. Give me your classic mask. Pincer mask, that's what it was. There you are. So that's their original appearance and you've probably seen them running around in fan art and such. I think they even had some sort of appearance somewhere. But, we're gonna be doing one of two quests. So here's another thing. Who knows? You have to actually pick your food. Super Carver and Groomer. Have the effect duration of defense down. That's not gonna be effective. Mm. Defense not back from carving. That's not gonna be. Escape artist. Combine. Like polish. Riser. Supplier. Vulnerability when getting up seems best. That is up. Okay. Whatever. So it is worth noting that high rank and low rank are the only ones available in solo, which is where I'm at. I'm not going to try anything online because who knows if anyone even is doing online. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with what's in here, which, so I have two options because they don't include my favorite monster <laughs> in any normal way. Um, so, my favorite monster is Geeky Maps. I had a very... I remember my first encounter with him, and it was during try. My friends were helping me do a mining trip, and I I was one of the last one of us to even get Monster Hunter try. So, they were all well experienced, all higher in rank, and so they were just helping me catch up to them. So, we were doing a like required mining quests just to get it over with that Giganox had a chance of showing up in. So I'm just trying to mine and all of a sudden I he comes into the cave I'm mining in. Uh since the game is not as optimized in terms of lighting, dark as all hell, all I'm seeing are purple spots. And I freak out of course. I yelled at my friends and they come into the room, start dealing with it. I go off and finish mining for the most part and pretty sure they killed it or if they didn't kill it, we got, they at least damaged it enough that we got a, some pieces in the rewards. So then I immediately ran to the thing. <gasps> I forgot hot drink. Oh, this is so me. And we are, I chose to do this one because even though I was talking about my little story there, but I figured hunting two monsters of a slightly different type was a little bit better than hunting the same monster three times over. I could hunt the same monster three times over, especially that one, and be completely fine with it, but I figured this would be a little bit nicer. Plus, I like Baleful slightly less. <laughs> I still consider Giganox to be a better Kezu, because Kezu is a bastard, and nowhere in, I think maybe the issue Giganox has is he's not as pretty. 
Or, no. Not as ugly, rather, as Kessie. Because it's disgusting. And I think they play on that and enjoy that a little bit more. Where Steven Nuts is a beautiful, beautiful creature. With two faces. In a way. And two butts, in a way. They're very hard to tell apart sometimes. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, man. And the regular Gigi Nuts is here, too. Yeah, they come in the same time. I'm partially also doing this quest just because I am... It's good that this is the level of this quest, too, because... It's slightly harder, not as easy, because I have also... am leveled up to hell in terms of equipment and stuff. There is actually a online quest. I'm not even sure if there is a solo hunting Nux just by himself type of quest. And only having to hunt one of them in this game. Because I ended up... There is a quest in this game that has... a sort of a time limit. Hunt at least 10 of them. And then you're able, and the quest doesn't end technically. It's just you have to hunt X number, and then you can go, you get a ticket, and you're able to put it in the box, and then you're good to go. Or, you can just keep hunting until the whole time runs up. Just keep going. Hunt as many as you want to. I don't think I've ever gone. I may have gone past that time limit. I think when I went past that time limit, though, I had, like, a few more that I needed to get to, like, you've hunted a hundred Gigi Nuts. So. I'm trying to focus on Baleful first, and luckily he's leaving the area. So I can not have the other one get in the way. I also am not stocked on mega potions or shit, really, so this could end up being horrible. Yeah. Baleful goes red when he's angry. Sort of like Devil Joe. And there's a little baby Giggies. Baleful does not lay eggs. Regular Gigi will lay eggs for these little guys. I don't even care what kind of online Jacha are doing. Like really all I need them is to buff me every now and again. Ah, I've broken the tail butt area. Oh, thank god. Sometimes you just have to go first then. Like, if you're not getting it, that would have been a pounce than eat me. And those suck. I hate this whole thing with that. And usually he catches me every fucking time. So. I'm glad he didn't. Because I hate it. So much. Do I have no idea? Damn it. Damn it. Gigi, can you just one at a time, please? Me and Baleful are having a nice conversation. I am fucking with my camera. You can oh, you can actually your poison and <laughs> damage them. Oh, that's perfect. The only reason you can tell in this one is when they shudder. Okay. It's hard to have an eye on both of you when one of you is on the ceiling. Oh 
grab the other wall. Really. Damn it. So far, you're leaving. Please tell me you're leaving. <gasps> oh, damn it. Here's the worst part about this. I didn't do anything for that possibility. I have no tracking, no nothing. So, going to run down here. Yeah, I am literally like equipped with Jack. Like, this is very bad form. And I even did a quest before this, just to remember the controls before I even started recording. And I apologize for my totally unprofessional hunting behavior. Chacha and Kayamba are both dead. Wow. Okay, Kayamba's back. You're both pathetic. You're probably worse than I am. At least I haven't died due to my failures. Let's pick these up. I think the thing I noticed about this game, that since coming back to it after playing things like World and For You, is wow, some things are slow. Hot drink. Heaven sharpness is okay. Now I want to focus on finding Baleful. But since he wasn't in two, I'm gonna check five and then seven. Oh no, you're here! Baleful! Hi! Hi, buddy! Take that! It's nice having that auto tracking thing in here. Who's it? world has so many just make life easier kind of things. We're running around and having no idea where a monster even was. It's not a thing anymore. Especially annoying with certain monsters because they will run away and if you aren't well experienced with the game, but it's just like, or dealing with people who are hunting with someone who knows the game well. Like, okay, I've run into every single area and he hasn't been here. And you may have been to an area he was at, but before you even got there, they already left to an area you were at before. I've literally done that on Monster, and it's the worst when that happens. Okay, Baleful's almost down. Which I kind of expect you to be. Good job, Cha Cha! I am shocked. And we down even. I am actually kind of surprised. I expected that to take a little bit longer. Fearsome Ma! I cannot even describe how many times I have had to grind for that particular item. Oh my god. I didn't see I was hunting a purple Lugros not too long ago. I also have the armor talents and power charms, which those come from Devil Joe in the equivalent in world is the Basil Keys. That's the name I was looking for. Which Basil Geese has to be, like, of the new monsters, one of my favorite, just because of how fun that thing is. It is a super fun monster. And Basil Geese vs. Devil Joe is one of the best things to come out of that game. <laughs> that is by far, like, the most memorable part of playing that game. And I specifically searched for that moment. Okay. Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Are you in two? How do I get... 
stopping in six. Oh wait, no, you have come to me. Or you were in that corner and I couldn't see you. Probably left. Because there's no entrance on that side. Okay. Your protection will be helpful, so I don't think your protection is small, but anything for Gigi Mods. Yeah, nothing. Need to be large to get anywhere. High swing, please. High swing. Okay. What are you doing? Dropping it. Good. I think the most annoying part about this monster is just because it will go up, down, and so it really requires a changing the camera position more than you would for blue drop or any other monster really because the only other ones you'd probably have to do it for are in the water based monsters which I actually may do another make this a two part thing and show one of the water monsters specifically Magia. That's one of the better, more iconic ones. I can actually show off Ivory on here too, which is also a slightly harder quest to me. And then Captain. Solo mode, if there is. And way more interesting than showing off CBS. I personally enjoyed seeing this one, and if you're ever, and for this game specifically, doing Seagus's gold was a gold mine. Because <laughs> I basically did it enough to get the equipment, and then, or I had to grind a certain item, even, and then, oh, Billy's broken. Hungry. So. It is slowing down. Which is unfortunate for you. But I grinded the CDS gold one so much, and that's sort of why I have as much money as I do. Because <laughs> there was one item that you could only get through breaking. And it was such a rare drop that you basically, you can only get like one every hunt and you need it like five for an item. But everything else drops so much more, so you'd have like 50 of this item and only five of the other one. And still need eat another five or six for the next part of the upgrade, so the next upgrade for that thing, and then you just mean so and nothing against it, because like I said, I enjoyed that hunt slightly. I enjoy all of the large monster hunts. Which honestly I may even do another video doing Gen Moron just because I love large monsters. Like the only one I could never do for two reasons would be Dalmadura. Which for that particular one it is horrible because it has like an aggro move that will one shot basically anyone. So that's why that's one it that particular one is just that's not happening. And then for some other ones, it's more of a Oops. Oh, I'm inside. Oh, and I got another person left. How nice of it. Um. And then the other reason is just because it's on 3DS, <laughs> and I don't have any capability of recording that one. 
So if Domodoro is... I don't think it's in Gen. I don't remember it being in Gen. If it is in Gen, I'll have to maybe course some friends into hunting it with me for a video. Because <laughs> I love it. I love large monsters so much. And I'm probably one of the few people that does... I enjoy large monsters, large monsters for a specific reason, and that is they are different. Nothing else is like this. They are always a different thing. And yes, they are consistent to their patterns. Like when you do those hunts, there are specific patterns to those hunts. But if you were to do, say, a Rathalos Hunt. Rathalos Hunt is always the same as well. It may vary in some aspects of it of, oh, they ran into this area instead of this area this time. They don't vary that much. And they go to the same area all the time. Same one that you go to for maybe a... Uh, let's see, where does it show up? Rathion Hunt for sure. Same area as a hmm, Rachi has shown up in the same area as it. Udaguan, yeah. So there are so so many other monsters that overlap with each other. You're going the same place for large monsters are very specific. These are the pla This place is for this monster. And so I've always enjoyed those just because they're a change of pace from everything else. Because everything else has some degree of same. Whereas these are completely different from all the other monsters. And the only ones that are slightly similar are like Halogen Moron and Gen Moron. Darren Men and Darren Moron. Like those all similar realm. But, you get into the, you have Gen Moron, Cedius, Thelmadora, I'm trying to remember a few other ones, but those are the ones I mostly know of. Ah, uh, the Fatalis ones, yeah, the majority of them were on for you. But I remember. What is my good thunder? Because I will need something that won't kill me. Oh, yeah, Giggy. <laughs> Perfect. And honestly, this weapon works super well. So, let me actually. Trying to remember Hunter Notes No status M and up reader sharp critical eye So that's attack up. Yeah that works. You can kinda of see them since I don't have certain skills even doing anything, but at the same time it's just, eh, it works for me. Riser and Acrobat, quickly recover when sent to slime. Yes please. So I have not tested how it is for me to actually be in the water. <laughs> so hopefully this doesn't destroy me, though if I am going to be doing this one, Ivory does not always show up in the water. So, hopefully it will go into there and I can drop that element of it. But, Ivory usually spawns on land when you first find them.
How do I get to you the fastest way again? This way. No. Yes. No. Damn it. I don't remember this quest. Yeah. It has certainly been some time. This may be my favorite one, but I... Memory is so fickle. And my brain has stopped remembering a good chunk of it. Oh, I've missed this game though. It feels weird to say that because this isn't somewhat different from World or somewhat different from Generations. Hi, Lavia. I didn't change my equipment. Okay, we're gonna have fun. Potential. I may end up doing this. Because I forgot to restock. So yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to purposely <laughs> It actually may be okay. All my stuff is upgraded to all hell, so I may actually be okay. Cause this is still high rank, technically. Considering we didn't see rank equipment, it's there is a disparity of high rank becomes easier, low rank becomes super easy. As long as I don't do some shit. Which are kind of new, so. Hmm. I'll try not to fuck up. Too badly. I still have two parts. I don't want to die, but if you do. I can stretch it out and help me not get three cards. Okay, someone broke the front claws. Break the chest. Get, get, going the wrong direction. Really didn't need to even do that, but did it anyway. Yeah, I definitely didn't need to do that, especially with Jack of this movie. We did recovery up there. I mean, I think if we didn't need our health, we're probably going much faster. Okay. in range of that. Trying to get this tail. I don't expect to get like the horns or anything just because I didn't bring my strat for that. And the strategy I used to get that was usually a pitfall trap and then stuff to make more pitfall traps. And shot traps and a bunch of other traps, so and that way I can get in front and just wail on his head. So the only thing to do it when fucking hell. Yeah, doing it when he falls over or is stunned or something is you may not be close enough. Or at the right end of them, and then you're wasting all your time trying to get to the right end and only able to hit them once. So, I tend to just. If I'm looking to do something, then I specifically bring stuff to do it. This is just a hint. Okay, I can't see what you're doing. Also, yeah. 
mean, it's just now that I also realized the bunny avenue for us to switch between the weapon types or the sword and the axe and the sword mode. So I think I made it fairly obvious that I skipped to the axe mode and swirling. Nothing against sword mode. And it definitely definitely should be utilized more like this. More so when it's down. But I guess it's good. Where it's a little bit smoky. No, we didn't. Okay. I still don't deserve this to be too bad. What else do I have? Ancient potions and life powder. Ooh. Where'd he go? Um, asshole. Okay, he's probably in six. So the only way you can go from here is into the water or six. Because he didn't jump into the water because I would have absolutely seen that one. He slid in six. Yo! I'm surprised I missed that. Or got missed by that. Oh, the only thing I hate right now is the freaking Jaggy and Jaggy that are going to cause some problems. Yes, Jackson, take that. Take all the fucking hell. to have Chacha or even the melee or just take aggro because <laughs> I don't want it. This is the only reason there are is to pull aggro to make it slightly less miserable because otherwise the monster is solely focused on you 90% of the time. And that is not good, because then it's less time to recover, less time to sharp no weapon, heal. Set up a trap. Yeah. Just this short thing. He's gonna get into the water. If he is, it's gonna be he's gonna get into the water, and I'm going to end up following him through the water all the way back to the lucky nest. Actually, I don't think the ivory goes into that nest area even. So. What will probably happen is we need to go into the water to eat. Did I break this once? No, I just stunned him. I'm wondering, I definitely smacked his head and he goes back. That's why I'm curious. Another nice part about this weapon is it has the range to get up high. So you can potentially break the horns while just smacking at his head. And it's dangerous to smack at his head because he's got speed. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna smack it. 
He's looking already. And I just aggroed him still. So Salaya is one of the Oh wow. You were just getting beaten up and I am kind of sorry. <laughs> oh man. That went incredibly well at the end, especially since I keep forgetting to up fill my pouch and get rid of all the garbage. <laughs> Can I... Okay, yeah. Specific carving spots are kind of annoying. Okay, I definitely need... Get rid of that, because I have plenty of them. I think this is going to be it. 